Your learning target for this lesson is to be able to create and analyze dot plots, histograms, and box plots. And the directions say to graph the data set using a dot plot, box plot, and histogram. Find the mean, median, mode, and range of the set using any of the graphs. So what we're going to do is start by observing how many numbers there are in this data set. There are nine. And notice I've made nine blank lines. These blank lines are for the purpose of having me organize these data values from least to greatest. 11 is the smallest, and then 15, and then the number 16. And notice I'm crossing them out as I go. There are two 19s. Then the number 20 appears three times. And 21 is the largest number in the data set. OK, now that I've done that, I can use my sorted list to determine the range. The range is the spread of the data. So the biggest is 21. The smallest is 11. 21 minus 11 being 10. My range is 10. And what I'm going to do is lo or place these numbers as dots on my number line down here, on my dot plot. I can also use x's. 11 is the smallest. I have 15. Now notice the, the placement of my dots. I'm not placing them right on the number line, but they're hovering above a little bit. 16 is there. And then 19, there are two of them. Remember we said there were three 20s. And then the number 21. And what's nice about this, it shows me that there is a mode of this data. The mode, the most common data value is 20. And the median. It's not going to be as easy for me to find the median from my dot plot, so I'll wait to do that with my box plot. Uh, the distribution of the data, I can see this is skewed left. It's kind of going this direction. And then I'm going to move on to my box plot. So for the box plot, what we're going to need is five numbers. We call this the five number summary. And we always have the smallest number as one of my five number summaries, and the maximum value is another one. And the median will be the number in the middle. And remember how we find the median? It, we can cross these off. We also understand that in a set of data with an odd number of items, the median is going to be one of, it's the data value right in the middle here because there's four numbers to the left of 19. And there's four, four numbers to the right of 19. 19 is my median. So for my five number summary, I have a minimum. I have a maximum. I have my median, which I'm going to call Q2. Now Q1 is the median of the lower half of the data. Here's my lower half of the data. What number is right in the middle is this 15 and a half. And that's what I call Q1 which is the first quartile. The median of the upper half of the data, which is Q3, is 20, because 20 is right in between 20 and 20. Now I like to take these numbers, and I like to place them on above my number line here as these dots again. 11 is the lowest, 15, 21 is the highest, 19 is my median, 15 and a half is the median of the lower half of the data. 20 is the median of the upper half of the data. And the way a box plot works, you have a box around Q1, extending into Q3, and a line that indicates the median. Remember, my median is 19. And I can see with this dot plot that, yes, the data is skewed left. Finally, we're going to jump over here to the histogram. Notice that these intervals are equal and we're going to call these buckets and I look up at my data and I say how many data values were in this bucket of 10 to 13. Uh, there's just one so I'm going to put a bar that's just one high above that one. How many data values fall in this bucket of 14 to 17? One, two. And the rest of the data falls here. I believe there's six data values one, two, three, four, five, six that fall in this range. And you can see from the histogram that, yes, this data is skewed left. And I haven't missed any because 6 plus 2 plus 1 is 9. So that's a little review. Dot plot, box plot, histogram.